Yes, sir. Thank you very much. This last case before you tonight is a request on approximately 115 acres uh, off of Old Flyover Road, 1776. There is an existing house on the property. We note here that the pattern is currently EA with conservation. We we'll also note the zoning pattern to the north of M2, which is in the city limits of Alvasta. Along the east, you can notice the faint uh, green checked line. That is the current city limits line. You notice to the south of this property is Potato Roll Lane. That is M1 for Martin's Pastries and M2 for the Second Harvest uh, Headquarters. The remaining red portion there is Commercial Highway. There's a pocket of EA immediately across the street uh, in the county limits. But otherwise, uh, generally an industrial area, high commercial. And that's reflected here by the Regional Activity Center and Industrial Activity Centers to the north. The park recreation conservation you see there is basically the floodplain of Mud Swamp. Uh, right there, and you'll notice here on the floodplain map. So you've got a mixture of floodplain and the wetlands running through the area. You see that small portion in the southeast corner of the subject property fronting Old Clyde Road where Airport Road comes in. That is more or less the 16.45 acres that the applicant is requesting to rezone from EA to M2. The remaining portion of the property uh, from the zoning standpoint, that small line you see where the conservation Goes in, that would be changed to conservation as well. So increasing the conservation portion, uh, approximately 18 acres, uh, bringing the total conservation to 98 of the 115. So again, this use is relatively speculative right now. The applicant uh, is aware that M2 zoning comes with supplemental standards when applying, to, again, to address any noise, vibrations, nuisance features that may come with this. Um, the applicant has proposed uh, that again, any and all and staff has also proposed any and all prospective uh, development meet that supplemental standard and prove to the county that they can uh, comply with them and not produce any additional nuisance features listed in 10.02.05c. Uh, so therefore, staff recommends approval with that condition and that correctional facilities, transitional care facilities, and salvage, junk and salvage yards are not allowed as a use. So again, you see the survey here. And again, you see the more or less pattern. You see the house in the very upper right hand corner. All right, they shoot to the south. And again, you see the property as a view from Old Fly to Bill Martin Patriots there on the left, approximately at the intersection of Airport Road, uh, which you see right here. And you see the development of the city's industrial park to the very far north, just past the stop sign there. So, again, 16.45 acres, more or less being requested for M2 zoning. Commissioners, any questions for staff on this case? I like your conditions that you put on this good protection. No further questions, sorry. It's rare that we see people want to bring more money in conservation, so that's a plus two. Good point, well represented. <laughs> I have one question regarding the bunker, J.D. M2 requires twice the buffer as M1. That's correct. And that would be on the southern side adjacent to Potato Road. I guess the other property to the north is already sufficiently buffered by the conservation area. An undisturbed buffer, yes, would be would be available to use. And again, it also depends upon the use. Some uses are much more intense and require additional buffering. That's why it's listed there in your packets. And we'll open the public hearing portion of this case. Is there anyone here this evening that would like to speak in favor of this case? Please come forward. And state your name and address, sir. Uh, Mike Newsom. Uh, excuse me, I live at 209 Court, Macon, Georgia. I am the uh, authorized agent for Mr. Stephen Dasher. He lives at 3327 Dove Lane in Uqua, Arena, North Carolina. Um, so, I've been uh, talking with JV and with uh, Nikki Overtree about the best use for this property. My, my client, Mr. Dasher, is getting up in age and he, he had bought this property from his mom years ago. It's been sitting vacant and he's ready to sell it. We looked at the, the existing uses around it and felt like that uh, the M2 zoning was, it's a little more aggressive than M1. But for the stipulations that my client has agreed to, 
we felt like it would be a good fit. And uh, speaking with Ms. Odom Drew, she felt like it would too. You've got close proximity uh, of the airport, and you've got other large industries around it, so we just felt like that it would be a good fit. And as far as the conservation goes, I mean, uh, there would be requirements that none of that would be disturbed. So um, all we're asking is to get the highest emissions out of this property. Any questions for Mr. Houston? Thank you, sir. Is there anyone else here this evening that would like to speak in favor of this case? Seeing no one, is there anyone here that would like to speak against this case? Is there anyone here that would like to speak against this case? Then that will close the public hearing portion of this case. Commissioners, any further questions for staff or comments? And I will ask for a motion on this case. Thank you.